Hey there, I'm Meg, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom letterhead on Canva. So what you're gonna do is head to canva.com, and if you don't have an account, I have a tutorial linked down below. There is a free Canva version, so no need to worry, and everything that we are about to do, you can do on the free version. So once you have that all squared away, you are going to head to the upper right, click on that purple create a design button, and you're going to click custom size. Make sure you change pixels to inches. And then we're just doing a standard sheet of paper. Now, if you have multiple size letterheads, of course, use those dimensions. Once you have that typed in, click create new design. And here you are. Now, the first thing I like to do is always name my designs so it's easier to find them later. So I recommend doing your business name. Man, I cannot type your business name slash letterhead and you're good to go. So the screen, the canvas here does look a little bit small. So what you can do is down here, you can make it a little bit bigger. And we are going to ditch this flyout. We're not going to need it. So the first thing that you're going to do is add your logo. So head on over to uploads here. And if you need to upload, you'll click that upload media and then device. But if like me, you've already uploaded it, you're just going to search for it. Just click it and then it'll automatically add your logo to the letterhead. So drag that up to the top and then resize it. You don't need it to be too huge. And then use the Canva guides to center it. Now you'll notice the pink rectangular block. I usually like to work with that block as my margins because if you don't have a printer that can print to the edge, what'll happen is if you put your logo or any other element way too far to one of the edges, your printer is going to automatically shrink this to fit everything within the printable margin and then that's gonna make your design look a little bit off. So it's best to get it right around here. The rule of thumb is half an inch, but unfortunately we can't really add half inch margins. And definitely test, do a test print. Okay, so once you have your logo here, you're going to wanna to add your footer. And to do that, just click on text. And I recommend just clicking here and you're gonna enter your business address. And I like to either separate my address with one of those, the vertical lines, or with a, whoops, dot. Now on my keyboard, I have a vertical line. I just click shift and then the backslash key. And then I use a Mac. So in order to get that dot, I just click the option button and eight. And there you go. Okay. Let's make it evener. It's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> so drag that down here to the bottom. And then you're going to change the font to match your brand. Canva uses Google fonts, so there are definitely plenty of options. And if you pay for Canva Pro, you can upload your own font. But I haven't had to do that. I've always found fonts that were quite similar, if not dead on accurate, to my custom, to my fonts. Okay, so I always recommend changing the font before you change the size because each font is kind of sized differently. So you're going to highlight it and then shrink it. Let's see how it looks at 14. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then change the color by clicking here. And we're going to see how it looks in blue. And I'm definitely going to do a test print. And if this is too bright, I may change it to the purple. But I like having that consistency here. Okay, so now you're going to add the body of your letter. So again, click on this little bit of body text and what you're gonna do is kinda just drag it to the margins and you're going to, since it's already highlighted, if it's not highlighted, highlight it and then click the alignment button to get it left aligned and then change it to one of your brand fonts. We're going to do 
this one. And then you're going to want to change the size. All right. So you can add the, you can add some placeholders for yourself. So name, address, address, date, and then dear blank, and then there you have it. So drag this towards the top. And there you go. That is your letterhead. Now, if you are ready to go and use it, you're definitely, you know, it's pretty obvious you're just going to fill in all of your information. And if you need a second page, the easiest way to do this is to click duplicate page and then just delete the text and switch it with what you need. And if you want, you can keep using this one template for all of your letters or what you can do we're going to x out of this so it refreshes you can have a different file for each letter so that in that case i would keep this so you have a template and then you're going to go to canva.com and you're going to go down to Sorry, a little brain blank there. You're going to go to all your designs and then you're going to see your letterhead and you're going to click make a copy. Click on your copy. And then change the name to the specific letter. So <laughs> letter to boss or something like that. And then you can go ahead and edit. And then what you'll notice, I'm going to delete Canva the Canva window again and when we go back to the main Canva window okay it didn't refresh yet but give it a few minutes and it would say letter to boss here so that way you have a, an individual file for each of your letters or you can keep all of your letters on one file it's just a lot of scrolling but in order to reduce the scrolling you could always take the pages and move them to the top so your most recent letters show up at the top. Okay, so when you're ready to print, you're going to click download in the upper right and then do PDF print. And then you can select the pages that you want. So this is handy if you have multiple letters on one file, you can only so you can click just the pages that you want to print out. And then done and then you'll download and you'll find the letter on your desktop and then print. And there you are. I hope that tutorial helps and I will see you in the next video.